I cannot think of a better way back from our little holiday break than to go ow! <laughs> hey, how was your holiday? And welcome to Full Moon Tuesday, December 26th. Thomas Miller on the Fun Astrology Podcast. We try to keep it a little light around here as we're talking about the energy de jours. And today we have a full moon at 7.33 p.m. It will be in Cancer, the moon's home turf, its own sign. And it enters that sign at 10.15 this morning to queue up for tonight's full moon, which also will be just before Chiron stations direct. So there's a lot of stuff going on just around this today which is going to be a fairly busy week astrologically, too, because we have a couple of sign changes, and especially we have Jupiter stationing direct on Saturday, and then, of course, <coughs> Mercury <coughs> stationing direct on New Year's Day. Well, it'll be in the night, but January 1st, week from Monday. Now, the full moon chart that I have up is, of course, set to Asheville, North Carolina, and we do the East Coast because then everybody can just work backwards Obviously, you should always put your own stuff up on these things, but if you cast your own chart, it might shift houses a little bit. I'm using the equal house system. That's another variable, but the sun is right just inside the sixth house. That's psychological self-integration, as we talk about over on Old Soul, New Soul, and the moon is just inside the twelfth house. That's, of course the twelfth house. <laughs> we could go the shadow side, secret sorrows and self-undoings, or we could go hidden surprises, completions, releasings. But boy, you can just see and feel that this full moon has this soul piece to it. For one, it's in a soul sign, cancer. The other, the moon rules our emotions and our soul. And we're talking about Chiron, stationing direct. So it's uber super powerful. Now, as far as Chiron goes, where it's located in your chart, the house and sign and aspects to it give you a picture of what that wound is that the wounded healer is about. And yet, this is one little trick that I stumbled across actually looking at Chiron. If you look at different house systems, it will move Chiron around in some cases. So, for example, I have Chiron in the 8th house in equal and the ninth house in whole sign. And as I thought about it, that's exactly what my Chiron picture is. Woundings from the religious past and woundings around inheritance and other people's money. Karmic debt. When I started to piece that or screw that piece together related to the wounds that I was experiencing in my soul, it was like, that's perfect. So which is right? Yeah, they both are. So you might have a look at that. Even around this full moon, it's a great time to do that because full moons, we want to release things. So see what comes up, especially since Chiron is so powerful right now. And if you look in there and you just do the cookbook themes of the house and the sign where they are, then you can start to paint your own picture. And then you, of course, compare it with what you already know with your life, and it pretty well clicks into place. But you could experiment, try Placidus and whole sign and equal and just see what it does with Chiron in each of those three systems. Great place to start. And I firmly believe there's a roundedness that comes with looking through different lenses. So I don't get fixed on one thing. However, I have really settled in myself as well to the equal house system. It just reads things so accurately. But I'll take a look at others. Absolutely. And I know we just did solstice ceremonies last week, but now if you want to do a full moon releasing ceremony there around your Chiron would be a great place to start. Now, I want to mention briefly about tomorrow, and then we'll drill down on more of what it is tomorrow, but there's quite a bit of action in the sky as well. First of all, if you want to subscribe to the 14-day moon wobble window, that's tomorrow. I've already kind of subscribed on this one to the 21 day because of that volcano last week. But 14 day moon wobble begins tomorrow. Then I'll give you the list here and then we'll drill down on them in tomorrow's episode. An aspect you'll be feeling today because it happens early tomorrow at 2.42 a.m. Eastern is Mercury squaring Neptune. Mercury in retrograde, that could throw a confusion spin on things for sure, especially today. 
Also tomorrow morning, the sun trines Jupiter. That's like one of the best aspects in the chart. And Jupiter is getting ready to turn station direct on Saturday. So it's strong. So that's like, oh, that's such a good aspect. We'll talk about it tomorrow, but enjoy it today. 1028 in the morning is the exact. And then in the evening, Mercury trines Venus. That's at 730 tomorrow night, Eastern. And that is, of course, Mercury in retrograde. So, fellas, bring some flowers home tomorrow night. Just plan on it, all right? Make it happen. Just telling you. As above, so below. <laughs> Have a great day. I'll see you back tomorrow. We'll pick this apart more. Happy full moon. Let's get out of here with a... Oh!